video is going to look at developing ECL for an HPCC systems using the VS Code as your integrated development environment. As a prerequisite for ECL development using an HPCC systems platform, make sure you have the HPCC systems client tools installed. Windows users, if you've installed the ECL IDE, you already have the client tools. You get Visual Studio Code, you can go to code.visualstudio.com slash download and download the appropriate version for your operating system. Once you've installed Visual Studio Code, go to the Extensions page and do a search for ECL. You should find and install the ECL language extension. We're going to configure the VS Code as your integrated development environment for ECL. With our ECL extension installed, when we create a new folder, we create a file in that folder Call it just hello or whatever, it's just as long as it has the ECL extension. If it has the ECL extension, it's going to know it's an ECL file. And once we do that, we may get a message that there is no launch configured for ECL. Create one. From this language chart, we'll select ECL for our ECL extension. This then creates a default launch configuration a valid launch JSON file, which you can use to interact with a local installation. Now, in order to connect to our play.hpcc systems cluster, we're going to modify this configuration. Give it a name, we're just gonna, this is gonna be the name we're going to call the cluster, and then determine the protocol, which if it's SSL, it's HTTPS. The name of the server we're going to connect to has got to be the name, the host name of your server or IP address. We're gonna use play.hpccsystems.com, and then for SSL, the port is 18010. And now we're going to put in the name of the cluster to target. Suppose we want to target a Thor, but this cluster might have multiple Thors. So we're going to put in the name of the Thor that we want to target. In this case, it could be Thor 100. If we wanted to target a different host or another target, then we would have to create another configuration. We'll add in our username. And if there is security enabled, you can set up your username and password here. And when you're through, be sure to save your configuration. To add another configuration, you can press the Add Configuration button and add other configurations as necessary. Once we have all the values added appropriately to our launch JSON file, we should now be able to connect to the cluster that we've selected. In this case, and for this demonstration, we're working on the play cluster. Check the syntax. Submit the code. And if everything's configured correctly, you'll be able to see the result right here in VS Code. And here we can examine our work units in ECL Watch. For the HPCC Systems Developer Video Series, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to our channel.